Hi, my name is Dr. Edward Duran, and I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about precision ART. Um, IVF has been around since 1978, and in the United States, the first IVF baby was born in 1981. But IVF has gone has come a long way over the last 40 years, and it, at the beginning, we were trying to make as many eggs as possible, because our goal was to um, help these women because IVF success rates were so low that we thought by having more eggs we're going to give patients a better chance. What we've learned from that is that the egg quality is diminished when you produce a lot of eggs by giving lots of hormone and that subsequently the embryo quality is diminished and the patients have an overall diminished success rate. With precision ART what we do is we individually evaluate every patient and determine what is the best treatment for her. And that often means that we will not use high dose fertility drugs because we see that that is not the best way of getting quality eggs. It's more important to have quality over quantity and we know that that is what's going to translate into a successful IVF experience. Especially with patients that have diminished ovarian reserve and uh, high FSH or a low AMH value, we see these patients are often only offered I, uh, donor egg IVF by other fertility centers. What we do is we have a specialized approach where we're able to help these women that may not be ovulating or may have a very low egg reserve. We're able with oral medication to often get these patients to produce two to four eggs, and these eggs can be fertilized, um, cultured to blastocysts. We can biopsy those embryos and then store them to have enough embryos to do pre-implantation genetic screening. So we've had countless patients that have been told they have no choice other than to do donor egg IVF, and they've been successful at having babies with their own eggs because we don't treat everybody with one standardized approach. Everybody gets an individualized treatment and what that means is that when they come in we look at their ultrasound, their hormone values, and make decisions based on what their results are, not on what the average person that is their age is going to receive.